Hello everyone and welcome to the RV Inspection and Care Channel. I'm Dwayne and I'm a certified RV inspector. And today we're going to talk about how to get rid of insects and bugs. Get them out of your RV and out of your RV travels. You know, we love to take our RVs out into nature and uh, it's so beautiful, it's relaxing. We can really enjoy our time in the RV there. But when we do, we've got to understand we are no longer on our turf. We're on the turf of the insects and the bugs that live there. It's actually their home. And so I've made a couple of videos in the past on how to deal with pests in your RV like ants and mice. And it'd be a good idea to uh, check those videos and watch them. But today we're going to take it another step further. What about spiders and roaches and uh, fleas and flying insects and mosquitoes? How do we deal with them? Well, first of all, it's important for us to understand they're actually all just looking for the same things we're looking for, really, essentially. And that is there's three things they want, food, water, and shelter. And so we need to deny them those things to keep them out of our RV. So let's talk about a few methods of prevention, insect and bug prevention, before we talk about how to deal with when they have infested an RV. So the first pre prevention method is keep your RV and your campsite as clean as possible. When I say clean, we're talking about food, especially. Make sure that you don't leave food particles around for them because that's what they're looking for. You know, I know when we go RVing, we really don't want to be out there working a lot, right? Well, this is one area where you've got to be vigilant. Clean up after meals quickly, carefully, and remove all food from that area. Now, the next thing that we need to do is make sure we don't leave any water in the sinks. Uh, you know, it, there's a tendency to take the dishes and just stack them in the sink and put water in there. There's stu still food on the dishes. Not a good idea. That again attracts insects and bugs. And then once we're done eating, also wipe up carefully where the area, the, the table or the countertop where the food has been. Remove that scent, that smell, and that will help eliminate bugs and insects as well. They won't be drawn there. Now the second prevention method is to store as many foods as you can in plastic containers. That way they can't get to the food, number one, and number two, there's no scent for them to pick up on. So that's an important uh, part of keeping bugs out of your RV. Number three, you've got to go in and out of the RV. Sure, but don't leave that door open very long. If you do, you're just inviting insects into your RV. So even on the days where you want to open the door and enjoy the breeze, make sure you use that screen door. Uh, if you don't, you're going to find some unwelcome visitors in the RV. Number four, in all RVs, there are some holes and gaps underneath, you know, where connections come into the RV for pipes and electrical fixtures and things along that line. So search them out, and if you see any gaps in those, those uh, openings in the RV, seal those up. It's a good idea to use something like expanding foam, and the expanding foam will just fill in the gap in that hole and then they won't have easy access to your RV. Number five uh, suggestion for prevention of bugs and insects is to use scents or smells that repel them and keep them out of your RV. Now, there's a lot of controversy here, quite frankly. What seems to work for some people doesn't work for others. So you've got to do a little bit of experimentation here in this area. But there's a couple of things that you could try out. Number one, it seems that citrus juice and water, mixing that together, putting it in a spray bottle and spraying it, you know, on the uh, uh, baseboards and on areas where you think insects might be is a great way to repel them. 
uh, but also using eucalyptus oil and peppermint oil on cotton balls, really, you know, soaking those cotton balls with that smell and leaving them in various parts around the RV has worked for a lot of people. And finally, dryer sheets, believe it or not, uh, that smell seems to repel insects too. The thing about all these uh, products that you use for uh, scents and smells to repel insects, they don't last all that long. So you've got to keep doing them. You know, you've got to keep replenishing them and renewing that smell to keep the insects out. Now, the number six prevention method is to sprinkle something called diatomaceous earth, or just referred to simply as DE. Sprinkle it outside the RV around anything that touches the ground, like your sewer hose, or your water hose, or the electrical connection, or your tires. Just sprinkle it right around there, because insects avoid that stuff like the plague. They know that it will essentially destroy their skeleton because their skeleton's on the outside instead of the inside like ours is. And so if they detect uh, DE there, usually they back away and they don't bother uh, that particular area. So use diatomaceous earth outside your RV uh, to good advantage. Now once again, if uh, a rain comes, it's going to wash that DE away and you need to replenish it. So keep that in mind. Well, now those are all methods of preventing insects and bugs from getting into your RV. But what if you already have them in the RV and you've got a real problem on your hands? Well, my recommendation is I think it's time to bring out the big guns. You know, don't, uh, don't go half measures or soft in this particular area. Uh, the longer you allow them in there, the more the infestation will grow. So there's a couple of things that work very well on an insect uh, infestation. Number one is insect foggers. And they work very well, but you might need more than one. You might need to repeat the process until you get them out of there. So use insect foggers, number one. Number two, use a good insecticide, and uh, one that can be used both indoors and outdoors, and inside spray it right along the baseboards, wherever you feel that insects might like to hang out, and then go outside and spray the perimeter of the RV as well. And if you'll use the foggers and the insecticide together, you'll most likely bring your insect problem under control very, very quickly. Now, one thing we want to remind about here is that these two products, foggers and insecticide, can be dangerous if they're not used correctly. So make sure that you follow the instructions carefully because if you don't, uh, it could be a danger to pets, to children, and to other adults as well. So be careful and use all safety precautions when using those products. Well, now, there's one more part of this discussion I want to focus on, and that is mosquitoes. They are kind of have their own little category. They are the one kind of insect that really bothers our viewers probably the more, more than any other. How do you deal with mosquitoes? Well, there's a few ways to repel them. Number one is a lot of people like to use citronella candles, and they work well, but the thing you've got to remember is you can't just have one or two. In an area the size of an RV awning, you better have several candles going to keep mosquitoes away. But now the second choice uh, here is something that's better to use than even citronella candles, and that is something called thermocell patio shields. And uh, these are uh, devices that you can set up outside and they're so much more concentrated than citronella candles. And so when you set them up, maybe two of them are the size of a, a normal RV awning, you should notice that, uh, that mosquitoes are repelled very quickly and easily. Within 15 minutes, you'll probably find a mosquito-free zone at that point. 
Now, the number three method you could use against mosquitoes is a bug zapper. Yes, they work. And I know RVers that take bug zappers with them because they're light and they don't take up a lot of room. So if you feel the need to go that direction, that's one way to go. The number four way to deal with mosquitoes is before you go outside, spray yourself and your clothes with a repellent. There are some very good ones like uh, Repel or Off Deep Woods. Now they have DEET in them, D-E-E-T, and some people have a, a problem with that uh, chemical. And if that's the case, you may want to use a more natural product instead. But the idea is have something on that also repels the mosquitoes uh, from your person itself. Now the number five method to deal with mosquitoes effectively, and this is a really good one, Sherry and I have used this very effectively, is to have a screen room that you use outside. Uh, we had a screen room that we set up in a 10 by 10 canopy and that room has a floor to it and screened walls and just a zippered entrance and you go in and out of that entrance and you can screen all the insects, all the bugs out and never have to deal with them while you're outside as long as you're in that little area. So those are ways of dealing with mosquitoes that really do work. Well, I hope what I've covered today has been helpful and I hope that using these tips will help make your RV travels not only more comfortable and enjoyable, but also bug and insect free as much as possible. Well, that's it for now. Have safe and happy travels, my friends. Until next time. <laughs>